What's up, Cloud Clan? I'm Cloud, and welcome to part 23 of our Pokemon Sun playthrough. Last episode, we made it here to what is this? Ha, ha, something. Ha, <laughs> Hano Beach. Okay, and we tossed some Pukumukus back into the ocean, and this dude gave us 20,000 Pokemon dollars or whatever. So we can actually surf around here, and there are trainers out here. So, I guess we can battle some of them. So we'll get lit off with Fizzle, of course. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I wonder how many trainers are out here. Hee hee, wanna help me pass the time? I suppose so. That's why I came up to you. I wanted to see how you were doing. Hello there. Summer Alicia, one Pokemon, and you've got a Psyduck. Well, Fizzle wants to say hello and then goodbye, but I think you're gonna live this. For some reason, I feel like you are. Not. I was completely wrong. I didn't even read your text. I'm sorry, but GG. Hello, sir. The sea and beach are so nice. Just being here broadens my mind. Swimmer Logan. Wishy oh, wishy washy. Here we go. Here comes the schooling. Here comes the schooling. I know for a fact I am not going to one-shot you. And our last method... Can't use now because I was dumb and got rid of Thundershock. For... For Spark. That did way too much damage. Yeah, look at that. Uh, take down. We're gone. We're gone. Alright, Kapora, you haven't hit the field in a while, so I want to see you again. Oh, we can use grass! Yes! We're gonna use our Z-move for the first time with our starter. Let's freaking do it. Bloom, doom. Let's go! Get him, Kapora. Yes. Yes. I love this Z I love this Z move. It looks so cool. There we go. Pikachu fell. Oh, poor Pikachu. Me as I am now. I can tolerate losing. So we need to revive our Pikachu. Pikachu couldn't take down this wishy washy. back to me. There you go. Alright, what else? Any more trainers in here? I'm guessing yes. It's an item. Ooh. Whoa, we're getting chased. What is this that's attacking us? I did it cool, really. No, Tentacool. I don't want to. I don't want to battle you. I'm sorry. Let's see what this item is, though. Where is it? Ah! I got the pearl string before you could get me. It's probably another tentacle. No. I don't want you around me. I don't want you sting me. You, you, you jellyfish tentacle man. No. Squid, jellyfish, octopus thing. I don't think there's anything else up here. So fast. I'm guessing... Oh. 
Black glasses. I don't think we, do we ever even have a dark type on the team. I don't think we do. No, we don't. That's actually kind of surprising. Oh, there's another trainer right here. Good wind, good waves. Above all, my good mood. Oh, really? You're just chilling out here in the water, getting all pruney. You're getting... Yeah, okay. Go from wishy-washy to wingle. Pikachu will handle this no problem at all. So you can just go for the spark and you're gone. Oh, never mind, you're going for quick attack. You're gonna get static though, because our static's 100%. Not all the time. <laughs> it does tend to uh, give the static off when we need it. A barboach. Okay, I cannot hit you. Uh, I'm gonna go to Scarfy for you. I could go absorb, it's four times effective, but I think that. Uh, Pollen Puff, is that what it is? I think that'll still do the job. Plus, I like seeing this move. Yep, there we go. Don't mess with the Rabombi. Where am I Wingle in a- or where am I Wingle in a bad mood? You say that as in plural, Wingles. You just said, was my Wingle in a bad mood, not were. Trainer there. Trainer there and an item. Trainer there and an item. So three more trainers and two items we see. Antidote. Hi. Can you tell me how you chose your partner Pokemon? Because I liked him the best. Look at him. Wrong side. These guys right here. Swimmer, Chelsea, hello! Oh, you have a Pukumuku! This thing's got, I think it, this thing's got pretty high defenses. So you're probably going to live uh, one spark. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. You're not getting paralyzed. This, I don't think this will kill. Not quite. You're setting up a curse! It's too late, I'm sorry. You should have done that last turn. You should have done that first turn and not go for... Whatever, what did you go for? Oh my goodness, I'm so forgetful sometimes. Innards out! Fizzle 29! Wants to learn Nuzzle. 65, and Nuzzle is... Nope. Nope. We could get... Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Thunder Wave. 90 accuracy. Nuzzle, 100 accuracy. Always paralyzes. But also does damage. I'm gonna keep Thunder Wave. So if we're catching Pokemon, we don't always want it to take damage. Hongi wants to learn Iron Defense! As if you don't already get your defenses increased enough. Should we? Should we? Hmm. Hmm. I gotta stop. Hongi's gonna be living forever. Ooh, Marvel wants to learn Stealth Rock. I think I'm gonna pass though. Uh, should I? I don't know what I would get rid of though. That's the thing. I pass. I have trouble deciding on my partners because there are so many criteria. Hmm. Hmm. So many partners. 
What kind of partners are you trying to decide on, huh? Ah, oh, well, give me the item. The best thing about swimmers, there's nothing for us other than Pokemon. We represent freedom. Isn't that the same as other trainers? Roddy. Gyarados. Well, GG Roddy. This Gyarados looks so small in front of him. Look at that. Oh, uh, you, you might live this now. Dang it! Intimidate. Yep. And you're gonna leer. Why? Why? It's the same thing as the other Gyarados. The other Gyarados, do you, I don't think he used leer. I think he used something like scary face. I don't remember. It was something that lowered uh, one of my stats. Hey, Masuku. Ah, Gabora hit the 30! I'm empty handed, but I do have the prize money to pay you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Dive ball. Okay, I think I have one more trainer left right over here. I'll attack you boldly in my bold bikini. Okay, if you say so, Laura. Finneon. Okay. Well, Fizzle's gonna get ya. Have this spark. Bye-bye. Alright, what's your other one? Wingle. Shelter. You'll probably live a spark, I think. Yeah. And you leer too. What is up with you guys and leering me when you're you're I don't know. You're already at a type of disadvantage. You you think you wanna try something else other than that. But no, you don't. Left water down at the waterfront. Well, it happens. That's all, you guys. Okay, so we're done with the beachfront. That took a while. Oh my goodness. And, okay. Master Chewster! This is your first vacation in three years. Please forget that you are a famous star and just once, or, and just enjoy being a regular Pikachu for once. Master Chu. The bellhop is the first member of the hotel staff that a guest encounters when they arrive. First impressions are very important, just as important as the first move you have your first Pokemon used in a Pokemon battle. When a bellhop moves up the ranks, he can become a bell captain. Alrighty. Let's see what is in here. Okay, more, more people. Alola is how we say hello. Alola is how we say farewell. May the love of sun and moon shine upon you. I'm one of the bellhops. Ring the bell and I'll hop up to serve you. The touch of the Alola breeze feels like being wrapped in kindness. Wait, and I feel it blow over you. Alola is the land where I was born. Alola is a home I was born into. Welcome, and please feel at home as well. Hello. So you've come at last. For, but forgive me. I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise. Let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by, entirely by human technology for protect, the protecting of Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I'll prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with a tour of Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? Yes. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too! Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off? 
As a kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've had it. I got any. I've never even gotten married. Yet. Ha ha ha. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go You go see all the amazing tech that Aether's developing and tell me about it later, yeah? Excuse me. Ah, that's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up at Mali Gar Garden. Oh, hiccups. Yup, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy an adventure upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say, the ferry. I don't know if I like this guy. Can you believe a big hunk of metal like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up? Did you know that, Clouded? Pokemon hold it up? Really? Knew I could count on you to react. Huh. I can't wait to actually see inside Aether Paradise for myself. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Aether Paradise. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokémon. It's been outfitted with all of the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokéballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though, you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Aether Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. Hmm. Oh, look who it is. Excuse me, Mr. Faba? Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, Branch Manager Faba. Now, I must go speak with the President about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and then take them to meet the President as well. I like the music here. Phew. Welcome to Aether Paradise, Clouded and Howe. My name is Wick. Wait, you know who we are? How do you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island, and of course I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is up, up above us. Shall we zip right up there? Yes, I suppose we shall. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Clouded. You and Howe are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose. She must be around 11 then. How'd you know? Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join in the island challenge once I turned 11. Cause someday, I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. How, how lovely for you. 
I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore, trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Clouded, how? Would you two like to see the conservation area upstairs? We'll zip right up! Okie dokie. This place seems pretty big. Ooh. Wait, is this where Lily was? In that scene at the beginning when she was being chased? I think it, it was. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Wow! We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. And we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsola, for example, they are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my Pokedex. Go for it, Wick. Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, my Gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side. Sure as it gives us blessings. But you, can the Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. But why'd you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, uh, she should be here in the conservation area now. Okay, we can move about. Wow, there are even Pokemon that got done in by Team Skull, huh? If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she's in the conservation area now. Sudowoodo is a Pokemon that pretends to be a tree in order to protect itself, but wouldn't it be better to disguise itself as the kind of tree you actually see here in Alola? Wood. The PC boxes were first developed by a guy in the Kanto region called Bill. Apparently he's a real Pokemon maniac. Imagine using the same Pokemon in your boxes in the battle again after hundreds of years. It's like a kind of time machine, isn't it? Okay, they're blocking that way. When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. Some Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look and their stats. And then there are the regional variants, which are quite another thing altogether. Pokemon don't just change into regional variants like they cha they might change forms. Starmie is known as the mysterious Pokemon. If it's really a star from the night sky appearing to us in a different form, then it's like a Pokemon is just using us humans and making us take care of it. Do you ever imagine things like that? I do. Interesting. How many ways are we going on this? Okay, that just loops back around here. This... Okay, that goes that way. And does this also come from the middle part where we were? Yes, it does. Okay. Cool. So we did not miss anything. And we can continue this way. Regional variants. It can all seem a bit complicated, but think about it like this. If you visit a tropical region, you get a tan, right? Isn't it something like that? I don't know. You might be onto something. There she is. <clears throat> my sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. So quiet. Ooh. You must be clouded in how. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I'm the president of the foundation, but please, just call me Lusamine. This music! I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons, or even for profit. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all of those poor Pokemon and show them with love. Shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. 
Wow, Miss Lusamine. I don't know how you do all this. You're like, not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. What? You are? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know, and how your style is a bit wanting. Hmm. I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. L like, like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily. Ooh. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would all be much happier if they'd only listen to adults around them. That tremor, did something happen on the lower floors? Yes. you come from another world? Miss Lucimi, stand back. That thing's not right. You poor creature. I've never seen a Pokemon like that. Are we really gonna fight that, that thing? That hole, that Pokemon. What in the world are they? You poor creature. Clouded. Can you distract that thing? I've got to get Miss Lusamine out of here. This music. Oh my gosh. Venom shot. Okay. I'm guessing you're part poison. This isn't good. Oh my gosh. Alright, bye, Pikachu. Alright, we're calling in. I forgot about that. Oh, the special defense rose. Okay, we're fine. We can't catch you, though, can we? Surely not. Alright, Hongi. Show me your high horsepower! Hongi! It's too strong, I tell you. Hmm. The unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. <laughs> what? Miss Lucimine, did you say something? Oh. That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an ultra beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from the ultra wormhole. It looked like it was suffering, like it pained it to be in this strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I will save it, and I will love it. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. Hmm. Wick. These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. Uh, uh, at once, ma'am. I will go check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. And I need to speak with Mr. Faba about exactly what happened downstairs. And of course, I will have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. The protection of the Ultra Beasts. 
Hmm. I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. Hmm. I never thought I'd actually get to see the ultra wormhole in my life. We've got to tell Professor Burnett uh, about this the next time we see her. I don't know if what happened should be really described as an accident, but I think it's probably best if you do so. Anyway, I was very glad to meet you both. Please take this uh, to remember your visit. Some malasadas for you, Hal. <laughs> Yes, big malasadas. Awesome. Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? Yes, I think I did what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, Clouded, a cheer for the move sidekick. Ah, give you a big hug. Yes. Yes. I hope both of you have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. We will. Thanks, Miss Wick. Oh. My heart's still kind of racing, you know? The Ultra Wormhole is real, and Ultra Beasts are real too. The world is just way too big. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island too. We're gonna need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. You want a Malasada? Yes! Ah, so good! Shoot, I already ate the whole thing! Oh, man. Ooh. Ula Ula Island. It has a snowy, it's a snowy place on this one. Cool. The snowy mountain. Ooh. Makes me think of gold and silver here. The Ecrotique, yeah, Ecrotique. Just because it has that tower. Land ahoy! All right, terra firma underfoot again. Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place than Meli Meli or Akala, huh? I've got an idea, Clouded. Let's have a battle. I want to get my Pokemon to get. I want my Pokemon to get a deep breath of this fresh new air. Don't worry. I'll make sure both our teams are in fighting form first. Good, because Pikachu got wiped. All right, so good way to end off this episode is a battle with Hal. Three Pokemon, dude. <sighs> Rub it in my face. Rub it in my face. So guess what? You're gonna answer to Hongi. I hope you like it. Are you gonna go for Psychic? She didn't give you Psychic, she gave me- He has Psychic anyway. That's gonna hurt. Ah! I did way too much damage. Ah. Go for something that's not Psychic, please. Psychic's animation in this game looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. We don't outspeed you. And, ugh. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna sack off Pikachu pretty much. Heal up Hongi. And then switch Hongi in when Pikachu gets knocked out. Pikachu, you better live one Psychic. I 
I should have just let you drop. But we'll go into Scarfy here. And we can just go for a super effective Pollen Puff. And a one shot you, Electro Ball. We can take this. This hair, I think, that just keeps falling down right here. There we go. A 30 for Scarfy as well. Joining Kapora at the big 3 0. Flareon. Marble, let's go. Alright. I'm just gonna go straight up for the Rock Tomb. Oof. Ooh. Ah, Flareon. Ah, and Marble also going to level 30. Fantastic. And Hongi as well. And of course, your last Pokemon being Brion. And guess what? You're gonna have to say hello again to Kapora. And I'm so sorry, Hal. We're Bloom Dooming here. It should take you out. Should. Let's find out. Nope. It's not going to. Not quite. And you're going for your own! How? Look at you! What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Hydro Vortex. I'm sorry, that's not going to take me out though. But it is cool to see both of our starter Pokemon go for uh, Z moves on each other. That's a good amount of damage for it being resisted. Alright, we'll take it out with a Razor Leaf as long as we land it. Hey. GG, how? GG. 31! Oh my goodness, we're getting so close. We're getting so close. Wah, I had my breath held that whole battle. You probably passed out. <laughs> Did he fall at 30? Ah! Hongi! Hongi's gonna be big Hongi. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's look at this monster! Mudsdale. Oh, man. Caught me way off guard. It spits uh, a mud that provides resistance to both wind and rain, so the walls of old houses were often coated with it. That's awesome. Bwah, that battle took my breath away. I can't breathe the fresh air that way. We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Mal Mally Garden? Why do you want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? Right. Uh, oh. You made it to Ula Ula Island now, big boy. That means uh, This means a whole new island Pokedex. Zzzt. It's all up to you what new Pokemon you'll uncover here, Clouded. Alright, that's going to wrap up this episode of our Pokemon Sun playthrough. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe if you haven't already to become part of the Cloud Clan. That would be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you next time.